A night of celebration quickly turned into a night of tragedy following a house party after prom. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Police are trying to put together what happened moments before the Fort Worth shooting that claimed the life of a 19-year-old. Fox Horse Dan Anglin was in the neighborhood where residents described hearing the terrifying gunfire. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, that is correct. There are no suspects uh, as of this time from the party and the fatal shooting that neighbors call senseless. You notice how the side of it goes in? Eric Tatum's garage door with a bullet hole in it is a reminder of a neighbor's Saturday night party. He says went from celebratory to sad. I can't understand for the life of me how a celebration of a young man can go from a celebratory experience mm -hmm. to something that tragic that quickly. It's a little unnerving for it to happen so close to your home. Teddy Brigham is another neighbor who was home, still awake, just before 1 a.m. Sunday. That's when he heard gunshots in the middle of the crowded street during what he called a teen party following the Arlington Heights High School prom. He cautiously looked out of his window. I didn't see a lot of running, so I didn't think uh, that much about it. But uh, a few minutes later, I heard the popping noise again. And it was, a, you know, a few houses down. So I knew it wasn't right in front of me. Fort Worth police say officers responded to the shooting call, but did not find victims at the scene. By late Sunday, however, one victim was confirmed dead. 19-year-old Daniel Olade Moreno. Police say he was driven by private vehicle to Harris Methodist Hospital Southwest, then flown by care flight to John Peter Smith Hospital. According to the medical examiner, he passed away Sunday afternoon. Additionally, two gunshot victims from the party were also transported by private vehicle and were admitted at John Peter Smith Hospital. They are said to be stable. Once it hit that metal, it just kind of broke it down a little bit. Tatum and Brigham both say they've met the family where the party took place, but they just recently moved in. They mention the college-bound student who lives there is, to their knowledge, a good kid. Once I heard that, then things really changed. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, one random incident. Now it's a kid that's lost in someone's mourning somewhere. Yeah. Someone's crying somewhere. Someone's preparing for a funeral. For the most part, they're you know, probably good kids, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, at a party after the prom. But, you know, all it takes is one or two to, to spoil everybody's night. And I'm sure that's probably what happened. Now, police have declined an on-camera interview about this shooting, which they now confirm is a homicide investigation. That's a very latest live. Clarice, back to you. Dion, thank you.